Twas the day before Christmas, and all through the lands, video game characters were decorating diligently with their hands. Link roasted the Deku nuts, Squall strung lights with glee, Charizard went crazy and burnt down the tree. After law enforcement came to take Charizard away, the characters resumed decorating all day. Yet there was one character that felt rather blue, well, I mean, he was blue in color, but he felt that way too. His name was Mega Man, and he wanted to decorate, but he only had one hand, so it was difficult to celebrate. Vile went up the ladder to hang the angel on high, but Clumsy Zero bumped the ladder. What a silly guy! With Vile laying paralyzed, not moving on the snow, the characters started panicking. Who will hang the angel? Oh no! When Mega Man heard the commotion, he thought up a plan. I can help, he exclaimed, for I defeated Angel Man. He charged up his angel blaster and aimed at the tree and outshot an angel that landed on top perfectly. The characters cheered loudly, making a big fuss. Thank you, Mega Man, they said. You just saved Christmas. So all the video game characters celebrated together. What a sight. Mega Christmas to all, and to all, a good night. Mega Christmas, everyone! Hey, well you all been so good this year, I thought we'd do a Mega Man-inspired winter painting. Speaking of Christmas gifts, I got myself a gift. What? New palette? You can actually see through it? That's like impossible. I'm used to all the scrapes and scraps and all the paint on it. So this should be fun. Apologize in advance if you can't see all the paint in action. I know as you use it, it gets all scraped up and it's easier to see the mixtures, but make sure we take it slow. In fact, this painting is going to be a very limited palette, so not too many colors, but you don't need that many colors to make an awesome Mega Man winter painting. But hey, enough chat. I'll be right back, I can put some paint on this palette and we can get started, so don't you go away! Alright, there we go. Like I said, not too many paints for this painting, but hey, it's still a pretty cool one. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is going on behind here, you know? This is actually an old painting from college. Uh, I did what's called a staining technique. So I stained the canvas with acrylic paint and water combined, so it's kind of like a uh, watercolor. I just went over to the painting. I was going to do some kind of like grandma styled landscape painting, but hey, I thought, you know what, instead of doing that, let's do a Mega Man painting on top of this. Now, the reason you would stain a canvas is really just to have a base color down so all the little empty white pieces of the canvas don't poke through. It also gives a basis of where you can start. Now, this scene isn't going to be the scene I'm going to paint, but hey, it's something down already. Now, before we use our two inch brush, I want to grab a quarter inch brush, and we're just going to map out the setting for the Mega Man painting. So, I'm just going to color on here, I'd say some white. Maybe some uh, Prussian blue. Some new blue we're going to use today. Something like that just to give a color. And what are we going to do here? I want to emphasize that one key we goes into to get those dash boots. So maybe that will be here. Oh, by the way, I'm going to do uh, the Chill Penguin stage from Mega Man X. One of my first Mega Man games I ever played and one of my favorite Mega Man games I ever played. So yeah, Chill Penguin. This is uh, salute to you. Alright, now I'm not sure if you can see any of that. It's kind of a little subtle map just so I can follow something, but hey, good basis before you just start putting the color down. Let's start with the sky back here, so let's go back to that two inch brush. There he is. Alright. We'll go into the white, some of the Prussian blue. Now, this is a pretty dark blue, but it should be a nice uh, cold, wintry scene for our Mega Man painting. Might need to put your coat on. Alright, get some color on the brush like that. Go up here to the sky. And this pretty much matches the uh, color that's behind here already, but we'll go over top of it with some white. Now as you work it, make sure to gradually get uh, lighter and lighter to get towards the horizon. It's okay if you go over your little sketch here because uh, we'll be painting over that anyways. Um, but yeah, it kind of blends it easier together. We'll go back to that. Alright, for the next step I want to put some uh, clouds in the sky here. Make it a blustery, wintry scene. So let's go into our uh, midnight black. Or actually, sorry, our lamp black. 
and some of the white. I have a little gray, and the Prussian's already on your brush, so that'll already show up. This again, just switch up the flavor, add some uh, interest to the composition. Go in here, tap it like this. Take your brush and kind of smooth out the clouds. Something like that. Alright, then you can take a smaller brush, like a quarter inch brush. Go into your white. I'd say get some of that Prussian blue again. Something like that. We can kind of add some little uh, highlights to these clouds. So just go here, touch the bottom. Here and there. So our light source is down here is shining up. Alright, enough of that. Let's go ahead and start on these mountains back here. Now, I know there's not really mountains in the level, but hey, you know, it's your painting, you do whatever the heck you want. So, show penguin, prepare for mountains. So go ahead and take your quarter inch brush, and for the faraway mountains, we're going to have a nice faded blue color. So go into your Prussian blue, a little bit of the black. And we're just going to make the base shape here. And you'll see in a second here how we're going to bring these other mountains closer to us. So that's going to be for the further away mountains. Something like that. Alright, then take that same brush. Go into the Prussian blue again. Midnight black. This time add some alizarin and crimson to it, believe it or not. That kind of gives it a purpley look. And just by doing that, it's going to make it darker and more into effect. So now that's pushing that mountain even further back. Alright, so now what we're doing here is we're creating a value scale. And what that's going to do is going to really emphasize the depth of field in your painting. So this mountain pushes this mountain back, which then pushes the whole sky back. So we're going to have a nice bit of uh, atmospheric perspective in the Mega Man world. Alright, we'll do this mountain next, and to get it even closer to us, we're going to add a darker color. So go into the lamp black, the uh, lizard and crimson, and the Prussian blue. And we'll come up here and just put it on there. Actually, going to use a little bit more crimson because warmer colors come forth. Alright, now once you got that covered, uh, you take that same uh, dirty brush, go into your white. What we can do is we can start putting some detail in these mountains. So again, since our light source is coming this direction, make sure you hit all the little snow cappy things and put some light. And the color below will mix with it naturally. Makes it nice and easy, man. Yeah! Pull it down. Make sure you go with the flow of the angles to the mountain. Something like that. Then we can bring it down here, gonna have some snow on the bottom. Like this. You can even have that snow going up the side of the mountains too. Be sure to follow the angles of the mountains when you're making them, but you see with just a little bit of black, blue, and white, we made some epic Mega Man mountains. Or since we put some light and details on these mountains, get to that same brush, put some uh, titanium white on here. And we'll put some detail on this mountain. For this mountain, if you want to, we can add some trees and things that would be closer in detail because it is the closest mountain to us. Now, there's not just snow in these mountains. We've also put evergreen trees and whatnot. So, get a one-inch brush, go into uh, that dark color. I would say the black, the uh, Russian blue. You know? Um, and just kind of dab it here and there and kind of make some uh, evergreen looking shapes. That way we can uh, kind of differentiate it. Also have more of an uh, interest than these mountains back here. So you know that this mountain is definitely closer to you. A little evergreen forest down here. Alright, something like that. Now let's pick this uh, snow cave. If you play, ever play the game, you go into the snow cave and you see the hologram of Dr. Light, and you get those dash boots. 
So uh, we can paint the entrance of the cave, and maybe we can represent that little hologram tube thing, uh, kind of illuminating the cave. So take your uh, one-inch crush, go into the Elysium Crimson, the uh, Prussian Blue, and uh, I guess the, sh the cave is going to be very uh, geometric looking, so kind of blocky. So just kind of have that in mind. Just kind of make a base outlook. Something like that. Now to paint the intro of the cave, make sure you get a lot of the Prussian blue and the black this time. Something like that. Go in there. And uh, we'll come back to this in a second here. We'll have to add some color for all this color around here. Now we can focus on all the uh, mid-ground here. Now if you ever played the game, there's just a lot of swifts of snow, that's the word, swifts. And there's a bunch of those trees that are cut down with like the robot thing on them. So we'll make sure to represent those. Uh, but yeah, for now we can fill in the um, mid-ground. So grab a new fresh brush. Use our one-inch brush here. Go back in that blue. Just kind of uh, bring it towards the viewer here. So the swoofs of snow, like that, <laughs> kind of uh, exaggerate here. But the, the main thing I want to do is to separate the far distance of the mountains with the uh, foreground here. So let's we'll see what we do here in a second. I'm going to go over top, oof, got to be careful. Build it. And you can see just with the change of the lighting how we know it's closer to us because these are more full in detail and contrast. These are far away so they're distance and they're kind of faded out. And what we could do to kind of separate the two planes, here, darker brush, ooh, double brush here. Can we do it? Maybe. <laughs> here, darker brush and kind of make like a little wedge, like there's a little snow ledge. So we're up on the hill now. looking out at these little far distant lands, kind of put the uh, entrance to the cave. So I guess now we can pretend that this is where the level would be. Kind of have it go down the stage, kind of lead it to the cave here. As you see, if you have a dark brush and a light brush, you can just kind of go back and forth and uh, push up the angles. So we can pretend that, you know, we're coming from this little heap right here. To put this the most in detail, so has a little bit of ledge. Right? Pop it down. Go to your white. Fill the rest of this in. Make sure you go heavy with the white on this because uh, it will show up the most. Since we have blue mixed in with our other colors, uh, the blue is showing through. But if this is pure white, then it'll look like it's the closest to us. So, pure dosage of that titanium white. Alright, now all I want to do is put some detail into this cave, then we can start focusing on the roboti elements of Mega Man on the painting. I know right now it's just a, it's a grandma snowy landscape, but we'll spruce it up with some Mega Man action. So bust out your quarter inch uh, square brush, and go into your uh, little bit of the Elizabeth Crimson, the white, and that Prussian blue kind of gives a little bit of a light purpley touch to it. And, uh, it's, you know, these colors are more fantasy-esque. I mean, the game of Mega Man is a very colorful game, so play it. So, take your brush. I want to block here. Uh, can you see? Can I, I, I see you? Hello, hello? And we always have to remember, we have to follow the light source, so there's a light source coming this way. So all these sides here are going to get the most color and the most light. And then we can kind of fade it off into the chateau. It's kind of like an ice cave. So, uh, yeah. And kind of cool. Get it. Touch it. Bring it down. I feel like this cave should be very geometric. Also take some of that light color. And if you pull it down, it looks like you have a little bit of uh, icicles. Yeah. The Chili Cave. All 
All right, that should do it for the uh, little cave there. Hey, now let's paint what's inside the cave, which is Dr. Light's time capsule. No, I guess it's like a, a, a hologram capsule because he gives you these cool powers. Yeah, uh, I'd go into your uh, ultramarine blue, kind of switch up the flavor a bit. And uh, I kind of want to make this a capsule being the light source inside the cave. So go into your uh, ultramarine blue and your white. And, you know, you can uh, look at images to get the shape. In fact, I'm going to look at mine over here. That's cool enough. Robotic. Duck to the light. Something like that for starters. So I know it has a little bit of red in there. I'm going to pop into the red. Alright, so go into the uh, leather and crimson here. Load it up there. Get some white. Something like that. Just pop this on the top. There's a little uh, bulbous light on the top. There you go. And then, well, you can kind of just smear this off. Oh gosh, make it stuck. Um, go into your black and white. And then you can kind of shape out the other details of this uh, time capsule. I know there's little pipes that go up and around like this. Whoop. Whoop. Gotta make those noises. Future is now. I just grabbed a clean uh, quarter inch brush here. Go into your white. This seems to be a pure color, so white and the um, ultramarine blue again. This time, a little bit more into the white. This is going to be the little tube that's around it. Touch and pull down. There you go. Simple as that. And now since we have this uh, new light source, we can just reflect the surroundings with it. So actually that new brush that you just got out, clean brush, uh, go into your Lizard and Crimson, and some of that Prussian Blue. Kind of reflect uh, some cave highlights here and there. Simple things of highlights, maybe there's like a pathway. Alright, I just want to put a few more details to make this look a little bit more Mega Man esque, and I think we call this a finished painting. Uh, if you ever played the game, you know at the first uh, initial start of level, there's a bunch of those trees that are all like cut down and they have like robot parts to them. Uh, go into your black, your lizard crimson, and your white. Gonna have a, a warm gray here. And you can just pop them here and there. And these are these little stumps, so you know, you can put them every which direction. Make this for like a little narrow one. Try to uh, differentiate, make them all look the same. Alright, after you make a few stumps on there, you go get a clean brush, and we're going to make some shadows for these stumps. So I'd go into the uh, Prussian blue. There we are. Grab some of that white. And basically mix a darker... Well, lightish, darker blue. Does that make sense? Yeah. No? Okay. A light, like... Alright, so it's not, like, super dark. It's, you know, the pressure blue is pretty dark. A little bit of... A little, little bit of white in there. It's blue. Who are... So white impression blue. Come up here. Just kind of, uh... Brush it on like that for a shadow. Try to mimic the uh, branches the best you can. But just having a little bit of a blue shadow here will... People will understand what's going on. So I guess I'll bust out some of that ultramarine blue again. Kind of like with our capsule, actually. Put some on there. And kind of cap the top over, over again. Block it in there. Same for all these. Robot trees. The future is now. Alright, got the ultramarine blue. Now go into your uh, lizard and crimson. Crimson and some white. Yeah, something like that. Go in the middle. Break these up. Now you know me, I think it'd be fun to finish off with a nice tree in the front. Like those trees. Go into your... Go into your lamp black. Lizard and crimson. Ooh. White crimson there. That's gonna be full of contrast here. I just thought a cool little dead tree in the front. Bring it all together. Gotta take care of the planet, man. You can't have all these robot trees everywhere. Yeah, this is definitely gonna pick up some of the color underneath, but it's all good. 
It starts off kind of small and we'll grow it. There it goes. Woo! Nice gnarly looking tree. Seen better days. Dang Sigma. Hmm. Have fun with it. There you go. Alright, after you do that, go ahead and we'll add some uh some chateau effect to it. Get some of that fresh and blue. Fresh and blue in that white. There you go. Make some chateau. Alright, now without there, I think we're just gonna sign the painting and we call this one done. I go into your uh oh well, the Prussian blue again. Prussian blue and some of that white, nice bright blue signature. Alrighty. I was just do the first and last initial. And the year you did it. That should work. Alright, with that signature there, I think we call this one done. Nice, fairly simple uh, Christmas Mega Man inspired painting you do for your loved ones. I want to thank all of our subscribers and everyone who's been supporting us over this year. It's been a fun one, and uh, we also have a Facebook, Instagram, and even a website. Go and check those out, there's a link down below. And if you ever want to pick up a print of one of my cool paintings, you can go to redbubble.com. Anything from a postcard from like two bucks to like a big poster, it's up to you. And there's even like a clock for some of them, so be sure to check them out. Also, if you ever tried out one of my paintings, uh, be sure to send a picture of it uh, on our Facebook page. I know our boy Dylan tried out the Legend of Zelda painting, so looking nice Dylan, very cool. What more can I say, but a uh, very mega Christmas to you all, and I'll see you next year. Cheers! Ha ha ha, Mega Man, Das Plan is coming together!